All right, in C.103, we're going to describe and explain the conversion of iron into steel using the basic oxygen converter. So we have a picture of the basic oxygen converter right here. And what you see here is the oxygen is being um, put in at a high pressure. And this is pure oxygen, so we're not blowing in atmos just air uh, like we might do in the blast furnace. Uh, there is a way to collect gas wastes. And then this can be rotated to um, pour out the liquid steel. And down here we have the molten pig iron, scrap steel, and lime. And so that's what's sort of being mixed together before we pour it out. And the hold uh, over here, which is just represented by the two blocks, um, allows us to actually tilt it. So let's uh, take a look at describing this. First of all, pure oxygen is passed in at high temperature and pressure. And then the carbon and silicon dioxide impurities are oxidized. So we do know that there's always some impurities inside our um, raw materials. So right away, blasting that inside there um, will produce carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide. And so those can be removed. Now, important to note that silicon, or sorry, sulfur dioxide um, can then be further oxidized and then it can help form our acid rain. Uh, limestone calcium uh, carbonate is also added and that will remove some of the silicon dioxide impurity. And so we've actually seen that also happen in the blast furnace. So again, removing this slag. We then add some scrap metal and that scrap metal can actually lower the temperature of what's happening down there. And at that point, we can then add alloying materials. Um, so any metals we want to add, for example, like chrome, if we want to make um, stainless steel. And so those can be added in at that point. And then we can sort of tip out what we want to use.